In today's video, we'll be doing a tutorial and walkthrough of Rank IQ. Now, Rank IQ is a very unique tool which allows you to do very in-depth keyword research and help optimize your content to increase the likeliness of ranking your blog post on the top page of Google. And the reason why Rank IQ is so unique is instead of being a keyword research tool in which you would have to search up a keyword and find or filter for different keywords, they have a library of pre-selected and hand-picked keywords in which you can choose from. And they have keywords for any niche that you can imagine. So all you would have to do is go through and find the niche that you're in and you'll be able to get a list of hand-picked keywords in which you can start writing about. And this is really cool because if you're not very good at keyword research or if it's too hard for you to filter out all the thousands and millions of keywords within your niche, all you have to do is go ahead select whatever niche that you're in. And as you can see, Rank IQ will give you a list of keywords. It will show you the competition level, the amount of visits that you can expect each year for that keyword, and how long it'll take you to rank for this keyword. And as you can see, they have thousands and thousands of different niches and different keywords for you to choose from. In addition to the keyword library, you're also able to optimize your content using their built-in optimizing tools. So once you find a keyword in which you'd like to write about, you'd be able to get some suggestions and things that you need to follow to help increase the likeliness of ranking your blog post on the first page of Google. So you would get different topics and keywords that you need to include and you'd be able to get a grade from Rank IQ to let you know how optimized that content is. If you're a blogger, I highly recommend that you go out and you give Rank IQ a try. I'll leave a link in the description below. Let's go ahead and do a detailed look of all of the features included in Rank IQ, starting with the keyword library. So when using the keyword library, there's two ways in which you can get started. The first is by entering the keyword or a keyword phrase within your niche and running a new report. The second is by using the keyword library. Now, unless you already know the keyword in which you want to write about and you've already done your research, that's the only way or reason in which I would enter my keyword and then run a new report. The best method to finding good keywords is to head over to the keyword library and going ahead and taking a look and finding the niche that you're in. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different niches here. So if you're worried that your niche isn't available on Rank IQ, then most likely it is. So as you can see, we have a lot of arts and crafts. We have a lot of dogs and cats. We have a lot of fashion, fitness, food. We have a lot of mom keywords as well. So if you're a lifestyle or a mom blogger, that may be helpful. We also have a lot of personal finance keywords as well and so on and so forth. And instead of just scrolling through all of the different niches, you can go ahead and um, start typing in your niche um, right in this toolbar and all of the related niches will show up. So let's say that you were in the luxury lifestyle niche and you wanted to find some easy to rank for keywords um, using Rank IQ. So once we've entered the keyword, we'll be able to see an overview of different keywords recommended and handpicked by Rank IQ. And the first thing that you'll notice compared to other keyword research tools, you're not overwhelmed with a lot of different data. When you use SEMrush or Ahrefs, there's a lot of different data that you get. And a lot of the times it's very irrelevant data. So Rank IQ does a really good job at giving you data on keywords that really matter. So the first data that we get is the competition level. And this is a number between zero and 100. Higher the number, the more competitive that keyword is. And the second tab is the visits per year. Now, this is a very unique data point that we get from Rank IQ. Let's go ahead and compare the information that we get from Rank IQ compared to SEMrush for the keyword affordable luxury watch brands. If I take a look at SEMrush, this is the information that we get. So it tells me that for this keyword, uh, the search volume is 1000 per month. So 1000 people are searching for this keyword each month. Now the problem with this number is this doesn't mean that you'll be able to get 1000 people each month if you were to rank for this keyword, because obviously there's other websites on the first page of Google. So for a 1000 search volume each month, that will be distributed among the top five, top six or top seven websites on Google. And if we scroll down to the SERP overview, so these are the top ranking blogs for this specific keyword, affordable luxury watch brands. Now, 
if we take a look at this, this 1000 search volume per month is going to be distributed among these top 10 um, blogs on Google. So of course the number one position is going to get the lion's share of the search volume and the second and third and fourth and fifth will also get a pretty decent amount of traffic from that search volume. So, so the problem with search volume is that it doesn't equate to visits to your website. And that's why Rank IQ is really good because it tells you how many visits per year you can expect for that specific keyword. So again, for luxury um, affordable watch brands, we see that we have an average of 14,793. So this is much more than 1,000 search volume per month and obviously much more um, volume within the year as well. So why does Rank IQ estimate that we can get a lot more visits compared to what we see on SEMrush? And the reason is because included in this search volume is also the other variations of this keyword. So variations such as luxury watch brands that are affordable or best luxury um, affordable watch brands or other variations of this keyword is taken into account by Rank IQ. While on SEMrush, we're only able to see that single keyword. Of course, we can then go ahead and take a look at the variations of that keyword, such as the related keywords on the right hand side. But Rank IQ does a really good job at combining all of those variations for that keyword and giving us one metric to take a look at. So this just makes it much, much easier for us to get an overview for a keyword and for us to make a decision that much quicker as to whether or not we'll be writing about that keyword. And Rank IQ does a really good job at handpicking these different keywords specific for niche blogs. Because as you can see, there's a lot of best, there's a lot of verses, and there's a lot of keywords that are buyer intent and that are easy for you to rank for and then monetize after you rank for those keywords. So for instance, best first luxury watch, best American luxury cars, best luxury apartments in Dallas, best luxury body wash, so on and so forth. So if you're in the lifetime niche, I would be very excited right now because these are some really, really good keywords. And what I recommend when doing your keyword research, take a look at all of the different keywords that you get for that niche. But if you want to narrow it down a little bit easier, you can sort your keywords by competition, visits, or time to rank. So for instance, I've sorted this by the easiest keywords to rank for, um, followed by the hardest keywords to rank for. So as we can see, uh, we get a bunch of different uh, keywords here. And we can also sort the competition level. So we can go by the lowest competitive keywords, again, that are also ultra fast to rank for. And as you can see, we get some pretty decent keywords um, that we can take a look at and see if it makes sense for us to write about them. So just play around with these metrics when you're in your niche uh, to find some suitable keywords for your blog post. And when you're doing your keyword research, if you like any keyword, you can go ahead and click the check mark button and you can add those selected keywords to your keyword list. And you can always go ahead um, to your keyword list after you have a first draft of keywords and then select whatever keyword you like the best. So there's a couple of really good keywords here that I think would be suitable to write about. So affordable luxury watch brands would be a very good keyword. The competition is a little bit high. So just keep in mind if you're a newer blog that might be a little bit harder for you to rank for. But if you scroll down and take a look at the keyword of best entry level luxury watch, right now this has a pretty low competition level of 14 and it has some decent yearly traffic and it's very fast um, to rank for. So again, I'm gonna add this to my list of keywords and I'm just gonna go through all of these different keywords and add them to my list to figure out which one I really want to write about. And depending on the plan that you have, you would have a limited amount of reports that you can run each month. So I believe the plan that I'm in, I get 20 reports each month. So just keep that in mind when you're running the report for each one of these keywords. Um, you don't wanna to use too much of it doing keyword research for one blog post because, because then you may run out of credits for that month. So I'm just going to run the report for the keyword, which I think is the best, which is best entry level luxury watch. And it'll take some time to get some information, but we'll be able to get some important metrics uh, about this keyword and about the blog post that we should be writing to rank for this keyword. And once the report has been ran, this is the information that you get back. So we can see the suggested word count by Rank IQ is 2,800 words. 
we can see how many sources that they analyze to get this information. And if we scroll down, we'll see a content analysis. So these are the topics that Google wants you to cover. So we have to include all of these different keywords within our blog post. And because we're writing about best entry level luxury watch, we can see some keywords here that make sense. Automatic movement, first luxury watch, black dial, and so on and so forth. Because these are all keywords or topics that's related to watches and uh, entry level luxury watches. And if we take a look at the score, this is a number um, between zero and 100, I believe. And the higher the number, the more relevant or important that keyword is. So this is really good at giving you an overview uh, to understand what keywords need to be included and what topics need to be included within your blog post. And if you scroll down, you'll see a title analysis. So Rank IQ has pulled some of the top keywords or the most used keywords in the titles of the blog post in the top three pages of Google. So for this keyword, um, it's taking a look at all of the websites within the first three pages and given us the most popular keywords uh, within the title. So of course you wanna go ahead and take a look at this and formulate your title by using these keywords suggested by Rank IQ. And next is the competition analysis. So we can go ahead and take a look at some of the top ranked blog posts for this keyword so we can get some ideas of what we need to include within our blog post. I would definitely go ahead and take a look at these competitors because uh, you'll get some very, very good information. And that's because if they're ranking on the first page of Google, that means that they're doing something right and Google likes the content that they're creating. So you'd wanna go ahead and take a look at their content to see how you can make even better content. And once you're finished taking a look at your AI SEO report, you wanna head over to the content optimizer. And this is sort of like an optimizer that you would find in Surfer SEO or Phrase. And essentially what you would do is you would paste your content and based upon the content that you write, you'd get a grade between F and A++. And you'd also be able to see all of the keywords in which you've included or not included within this blog post. So you can easily add those in um, that need to be included. And when it's time to create your content, you have a couple options. You can write it yourself you can outsource the content, or you can use an AI copywriter. I personally like to use an AI copywriter, and that's because I'm able to write content a lot quicker and include all the information that I like to include within that blog post. And my favorite AI copywriter is Jasper AI. If you haven't used Jasper AI in the past, I'll leave a link in the description below in which you can get a five-day trial and try it out for yourself. It's definitely one of the best AI copywriters in the market, but it's also one of the most pricier AI copywriters. But if you're creating a lot of content and you have a blog that you're trying to grow, Jasper AI can be an invaluable tool within your blog creation process. So to get started, you wanna use the long form assistant and I'm using the blog post workflow. So we'll just start off by describing the content that we're creating. So we'll be talking about the best entry level luxury watch. And once you've described your content, and once you've described your content, you wanna go ahead and start generating a title. It's important to go back and think about what were the top used keywords from the title analysis. So what I usually like to do is get a title from Jasper AI and then combine it with the recommendations that I got from Rank IQ. And just go ahead and choose the title that you like the best. And we can always edit this title after. And once you choose the title, let the AI uh, create an intro paragraph for you and the AI is pretty good at giving us a nice intro paragraph. Are you in the market for your first luxury watch? If so, you may be wondering where to start. So there are many different brands and styles to choose from. Da -da -da. Whether you're looking for a sophisticated timepiece or something more casual, we've got you covered. So I think the last paragraph is probably the best for our keyword of best entry level luxury watch. So I think that one actually is the best. So let's go ahead and use that. And you can always generate more uh, content ideas by clicking the generate ideas and once you open your tab uh, this is where you'll be able to create and start writing your blog post so the first thing that you want to do when creating a blog post on jasper is get an outline for what your blog post will be so because we're writing about best entry level luxury watch brands i'm going to go ahead and describe that content there and then click generate ai content and as you see, we get a nice outline here that we can follow. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in here. 
Um, I wanted to get more of a list style, but we have some list style right here. So maybe I will find some more brands that we can include here, but we have different sort of topics that we can write about within the blog post. So this is good, but what I would do is I would add more brands at the bottom here so we can do much more reviews and then have these questions uh, included as well. So for this video, I'm not going to go through the whole blog creation process using Jasper AI. I have a couple tutorials that I've created. So I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below if you wanna watch a full tutorial of how to use Jasper AI to write a long form blog post. So I've went ahead and used Jarvis to get us some content about different types of watches, um, different reviews of different watches, and just general information to look for when buying a new luxury watch. And as you can see, we got a lot of information about different watches uh, and different brands. And me being an individual who knows nothing about watches, this saved me hours of research um, to create this blog post. Now it's not fully complete. There are things that I need to add in if I were to post this, but as you can see, we got a bunch of different um, brands uh, for watches and we get a nice little um, description of that watch. So all we have to do is type that into Google, get some more information and just buff up the content a little bit more for each one of these different um, brands. But as you can see, we got a lot, I think it's over 40 uh, different watch types that we can review within this blog post. And if we scroll down, um, I've added in some content about different types of watches, different types of straps, um, movements, and so on and so forth. So right now we're at 2,300. So I'm going to go ahead um, and paste this into our content optimizer. And as you can see right now, we're um, a little bit lower than the recommended word count, but that's okay. But as you can see right away, we're at a B. We went from an F grade to a B, which is pretty good. And we've actually hit a lot of those um, different words um, that were recommended by Rank IQ within our blog post. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add in some of these different um, topics that I haven't already included within this blog post. So, so for example, for luxury brand, I would just go ahead and copy that and find wherever on this blog post I have the word brand. And all I have to do now is add luxury. And boom, there you go. Um, we've added in that, that keyword within our blog post and we've went up a score within our grade. And as we can see, we see price within the blog post and we can just add in range and boom, there you go. Now that's added in. So you wanna make sure that you're adding the majority of your top um, keywords or topics within your blog post. It would be a little bit difficult to get every single keyword within your blog post, but once you're getting 80% of those keywords in there, then you're pretty good. And when it comes to your grade, I think anything over a B plus is good. You don't wanna spend hours and hours overly optimizing a blog post. You wanna go ahead, get it to a B plus, an A, and then move on to your next blog post. But in summary, Rank IQ is a very powerful and useful software for any blogger. If you're a blogger, I highly recommend that you go out and you give Rank IQ a try. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the near future. Until next time, stay well.